camshaft is so important as I said it is that means the head is just as important this is where all the magic happens where everything comes together the air the fuel the spark this is the cylinder head that came that I got out of the Nova as well 68,000 miles here is your exhaust ports and your intake ports this is where your coolant comes goes in this is where it goes out and there is the combustion chamber the large one is your intake valve the small one is your exhaust valve your head gasket goes right here there's a remnants of it as you can see all the black soot that's where all the explosions have been happening here's where your distributor goes now I was saying earlier that a 4AC doesn't have lifters it gets even more odd when you talk about the 4AG because the 4AG doesn't have any rocker arms here's the 4AC cam the rocker arms sit on top of here there's no need for lifters as the, as the camshaft rotates it comes up and hits the rocker arm and pushes and opens the valve now on the 4AG it has like little lifters on top of the springs the valve springs and the camshaft sits on top of the lifters no need for rock arms so as the cam comes down it hits the lifter and opens the valve and as you can also see as I was talking about earlier no bearings it just sits right there so you can tell this is 8 valve you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 double overhead cam would be 16 valves which means there would be 8 more over here there would be 4 valves in there of course then you have your 20 valve which has three intake valves and two exhaust valves which the intake valve would be like right here right here and then your two more when a blown head gasket typically happens these are coolant ports and then the gasket comes apart and then either oil comes out coolant goes in it gets, ends up getting burned up and sent out your tailpipe or it mixes with the oil gets past your piston rings mixes with the oil and creates hell or it can be the other way around where the oil comes back up goes into the coolant ports and turns your coolant into chocolate milk to alleviate getting a blown head gasket just take care of your engine change the oil on a regular basis, retorque your your cylinder head bolts, retorque them in the proper sequence at the proper torque levels. This should last you a very long time. You know? Otherwise if you don't or something really bad happens like your engine overheats and excessive heat can warp ahead warp ahead to the point where it's not even usable anymore so take it easy out there another thing you can replace is when it gets too old here's where your 
where your cam seal sits. Now if you've always wanted to see what a exhaust port looks like, see if I can get in here. It's gonna be really hard. But yeah, you, know, you can just about make it out. You can see the valve, the valve seat, it's that protruding piece of metal. I'll move over to the next one. Now you can get a better look. You can see even all the crud in there. And those were the exhaust ports. Now I'm going to show you the intake ports and the intake valves. You can see the valve guides in there. It's just about as much as crud as the exhaust ports. Now I'm going to talk about mild mods, modifications. Um, in later videos I'm going to go into more in-depth stuff, but this will be just like simple stuff. Now I was talking about performance camshafts, the history of performance camshafts. Well, just because you get a performance camshaft doesn't mean you're done. There's one other thing you should take into consideration when you do a performance cam, which is replace the valve springs with dual valve springs, which means instead of having the one single spring you'll have two, which will prevent valve float. And also, it could break too, so you replace two things. While you're in there, you should just replace the the uh, caps and the retainers. Um, typical hot rod stuff. If you want to go hot, hot, talk about hot rodding again, the most hot rod thing you could do is known as the port and polish. And that's when you take material away from the exhaust and intake ports. And then you polish the inside to make the air go by faster. You could do other things that are way more in depth, like making the combustion chamber a little bigger, going bigger valves, bigger this, bigger that, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. This is just simple stuff right now. Part two of this will be coming soon. Not to mention, when I do get my cam reground, I will show how to put it in. This is A for Hachi signing off.